We're backstage with Felice Herrick, who just had a major victory over Alexa Grosso. I just spoke to you earlier, and you said, listen, I might have been the underdog on paper, but I knew coming into this fight that I wasn't the underdog. You were the veteran. You showed that you were the veteran tonight. What's your assessment of that performance? Uh, you know, I went out there and I did everything that I knew I could do. Um, uh, Alexa is a, a boxer by trait. Um, I'm a kickboxer by trait. You know, I think people forgot about my uh, my years and years of striking credentials um, because I've been uh, because I had so much success with um, submissions in the UFC. People forgot that, but I have a great boxing coach, Doug Mango. He like we work my boxing all the time. I'm a complete MMA fighter. What can I say? Like I have a great. I have great jujitsu coaches, Jeff Curran. You know, I have great wrestling coaches. I've like, I feel like I'm a complete fighter. And um, I boxed with, I, I boxed with Alexa because I wanted to box with Alexa because I think people counted me out. They thought, oh, Felice could never box with this great boxer, and she is a great boxer. But I knew that coming in there, and I, not that I had anything to prove to myself, but I was like, hey, I haven't gotten in a, a brawl in a while. It, it might be nice <laughs> to go back to my roots a bit. You proved something to the world tonight. You also scored a couple of takedowns in there. You did prove that you're an overall well-rounded mixed martial artist. You seem to be renewed. When I spoke to you in Chicago, you had a great energy. When I speak to you here, you have a great energy. All week long, you seem positive and you seem calm. Do you feel like that will make the difference in this 2017 about where your career goes? I think you're you're seeing the fighter that I could I always had in me, that I always was, but I couldn't pull out the performances in the fights because my anxiety got the best of me um, because I was, you know, I had a lot of medical imbalances just from years and years of fighting and, and dieting and cutting weight and stressing myself. I have over 50 fights, you know, between kickboxing and MMA and that's a lot of fights. That's a lot of time to put your, that's a lot to put your body through, you know, cutting weight and dieting all the time and doing it wrong, might I add. Right. Um, now I, I have energy, because I, it's not miserable anymore because I'm doing everything right. I'm not being over obsessed with the scale. I don't weigh myself anymore to like two, three weeks out because I don't need to. Because if I look at the scale and it's a number that I don't want, I'm like, oh, tomorrow I have to lose one pound. I have to be a pound lighter. And then the next day I have to be a pound lighter. So it's, you know, it's a lesson too to like, uh, it's, it's a mental head case. It's like you look at the scale and you, uh, I always felt like I had to top myself. And, and now I feel like less is more. and. Um, I shouldn't be miserable in fight camps. Uh, I was miserable for, for a lot of years. I did a lot of things wrong and I was stubborn and I, and I have a team behind me that believes in me and that kept, you know, even though I was stubborn and I didn't always want to listen, I, after I hit rock bottom, I, I, I started listening and um, I'm just really thankful for everyone who did believe in me. So uh, again, I know I was a three to one underdog, but um, all you people who bet money on me, I hope you won a ton of money. I hope they did too. Felice, it is always a pleasure to speak to you. It's always a pleasure to watch you do what you love and be so happy afterwards. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks.